Okay, so we're um, just off on a little trip to Meadowhall today. Yeah. Um, we're going to spend time to buy some smarts for them. Better car voucher. And um, what were you thinking? Some shoes? Get some desert boots today. Some ones from Primark. And it's shot. Gonna give Meadowhall the money back that I made from taking yeah. photos for them. But you get something out of it, so it's good. It's that new hair going for you? It's good, it's going good. New outfit? Yeah, I just wanna stand still for a minute. Just gonna. Yeah, okay. Keep on recording. So, um, we were gonna go to the caves today. But we decided not to because it takes an hour and 40 minutes to get there. So we thought we'd go to Meadowhall and spend my £30 voucher. I got a £30 voucher from Meadowhall. For I took photos for them. They had this big student lock in. They locked a load of students in and made them spend their money. And they paid me to take photos. She just helped me. She walked around with her clipboard and stuff. And, um, so they didn't pay me money, they gave me a gift card. I thought it was quite funny because it means I have to give the money back to them. But I'm going to get some Desert Boots from Primark. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be under £10, so I'll be able to get three pairs. I'm going to get brown, black, maybe dark blue. And we'll be on our way. No more um, £6 Primark trainers that I've had for two years. You know, I'll be start looking the shit, do you know what I mean? Woo! You're wearing some pretty nice shoes today though, aren't you? Yeah, the Persians pay me, do you know what I mean? I've got a new haircut, got my nice new outfit on. Woo! They were like, when the Persian was paying me, he gave me the nineteen pounds as he was leaving. It was really awkward, and I was just shutting the door, and he was like, still like, like trying to look round, and I realised that he wanted me to count it. He's like, my grandfather says, even when you find money on the floor, you still count it. I was like, all oh, right. So I'm just learning the business skills. I got to be like, choo, 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 choo. yeah, it's all there. Thank you very much. Instead of just like, yeah, thanks. You know what I mean? But um. I saw them count earlier, you know, when we were editing the video and shit. They're loving the video. I made a video for these Persians, right? No one believed. I put it on Facebook like a few months ago when they first approached me. And they were like, <coughs> some people on Facebook were like, ha ha ha, you're making a Persian music video. And I was like, and what? They were like, they were like, well, um, you know, um, good luck with it. Persians are supposed to be generous. Never get there at this rate, babes. We've got to walk all the way to the station. Are we walking? Yeah. Let's not get run over now. Testing out the cannon today. Testing it out. 4 ATP. <laughs> Top quality. Let's get some cool shots on London Road. Jess on London Road. She's just walking. <laughs> I think I've had to point it in your general direction. I should get it. Yeah. Nothing like actual London, but. London Road Panning Shop. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to Jess. Uh, you can pretty much get everything you need on London Road. So yeah. I don't know. You don't really need to go anywhere else. No. Apart from they have got Primark. No Primark. No. <laughs> but they have got a pharmacy over there. That stays open from 10 at night. And they've got Steers beers if you ever need any cheap drinks. They've got Army Navy surplus store. And they've got Osmonds. Tell us, tell them about Osmonds. Osmonds is a 24 hour... Um, international store. Yeah, like international, like small supermarket. Yeah. And um, you can just go in there any time of the day. Yeah. Or night. Butchers, 24 hour butchers, 24 hour bakers. That's your favourite shop over there. <laughs> I was tying that dress up in the window. Oh, lovely. No time for that now. Just pedestrians, you know. I made you a bit of shopping in um, Primark. Yeah, what are you getting? Are you doing a Primark haul? Huh? Are you doing a Primark haul? <laughs> yeah. Primark haul. See it on YouTube later. Yeah, like you worry about and Aldi's as well? Aldi's. Aldi's on London Road? Well, we're not near it yet, but right at the end of the street, yeah. there is an Aldi's. Yeah. And, um, 
it's not very good for what isn't it good for like spices and stuff yeah and um, it doesn't sell smash but doesn't spice smash. has gone off smash now yeah so. forget smash it doesn't even take long to boil potatoes Osmonds Osmonds this is Osmonds look Osmonds international food they got everything in there look at those aisles man look at the green grocers oh wait look what oh no they're losing watermelons Quickly, here. Yeah. Oh, watermelons everywhere, man. Watermelons getting run over. Oh no. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't help. I just, I just recorded. That's fine. Sometimes you just need to record these things. I was like, I'm gonna get a watermelon. Hey, you, you did, you did a good like, job. Oh, no, no, no. Huh? I was like, I'm just gonna get it anyway. Yeah, okay, that's cool. What else? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's flipping noodle in right here. They got music playing in noodle in. Stand there and do a little dance to the music. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like a geisha. Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay. Check it out, man. Noodle in. Noodle in. Dim sum. Everything. Yeah. Same this is a cool place. You can't see it in there. Tapas. Tapas. Freddy's! This is Freddy's. You can used to get one pound fifty burger and drink yeah. from there, but you can't. Um, so we don't go to Freddy's anymore. No, we don't. Yeah. So we'll cover the whole of London Road and then we'll get to the train station and do a bit more at the train station. Yeah, we're coming up to Harrison. Um, for all his camera needs. Yeah. And generally just to pick their brain. I, d I don't like going in there anymore. Oh, why? It makes my head hurt because they've got loads of cameras that I can't afford. Oh. And they're a bit lame in there. One day you're going to have a... What? We'll get, uh, we'll, get the, we'll get the F word. The 5D. <laughs> the one that shall not be named. Harrison's cameras. I got a lot of shit in there. See the cameras. See the cameras. See the cameras. It's also a lot of like takeaways. We don't really go to these takeaways here. Yeah. Um, but further down, there's a good potato shop. <laughs> oh, potato oven. <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay, potato oven. Potato oven, yeah. Um, you can get a massive meal. You can get a big potato. Like two seventy. Two pound fifty. With cheese. With cheese. Uh, with salad. With salad. And with a topping of your choice. With a topping of our choice. <laughs> now that is. Two pound fifty chili con carne. And it's just like <laughs> big. Box. It doesn't even taste like chili con carne. You know when you get basic chili con carne at school? No, it tastes like some nice curry, man. Some nice flavours. Potato oven, the place to be. Come on now. The filling's up to you. <laughs> and it really is. It's damn filling uh, as well. And um, they used to have this tiny little shop here. This is the small one, the older one. Oh. Uh, they moved to the bigger one because they're so successful, everyone loves them. Yeah. And they've, now they've got a big seating area so you yeah. can get your potato, you can eat it straight away. Definitely, definitely. Come record me now. London Road, okay, Sheffield. Bye. London Road, Sheffield, guys. Yeah. This is where I live. It's my life. We are present. Boom. So this is we're, we're reaching the end of London Road. Just pan up there. That's the beginning. Got to buy a cafe. Choose your 
Sushi Cafe, it's really good in there. Definitely. Sometimes. And um, what's down there? Right? Audi. <laughs> That's Audi down there. Check it out, guys. It's Audi's. That's where you go, you want to get your porridge for 50p. That's how we do it. Man. This is how we do it. Okay, but you need to navigate the road. Okay. It's on green. Oh, we could have done that shit. Man. Wasted about 30 seconds. No complaining on the camera. We've got chinos across the road. Chinos! Chinos! And, um... I got a lift back from the Chino's car. You see loads of, they've got like delivery cars, they're yellow and stuff, let's go. They're yellow, and I got a lift back home because I, I was at Chino's, and I was like, free delivery, drive me back to my house, please. And they were like, okay, just this one time, just this one time. <laughs> like, All right. I took some photos in the car, actually. Chino's, get a, get a shot of Chino's. Fireworks. So Chinese fireworks is the last is the last um, it's the last instalment in the the series of Thunder Road. Okay. Chinese fireworks. I spent 150 pounds on here on bonfire night. It was uh, I got invited to I got invited to a bonfire party, and they were like bring in fireworks, and I was like I'm gonna bring the best goddamn fireworks, right? And I bought like six rockets that are 20 pound each, and I bought this like big like box, but it's just one ignition, so you just light it, and it's like goes on for like half an hour, well about a few minutes, and um, get this back down here. I did. And I brought the best I brought the best fireworks to the party. That was the plan. Everyone's like, oh it's a bias. Fireworks are so cool. Get the Chinese fireworks over. And I brought like a hundred sparklers and we lit them all at once and it was like <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, this is the end of London Road, guys. We'll see you in a bit. See you at the train station. Nah. We're at the train. I'm going to get my desert boots. Desert boots. Basically, we're at the Sheffield train station here. Get some of this shit. Don't get the building work. Get the mine. When we go down there, there's a nice fountain and stuff, but at night time they have lights on. It's very nice if you ever come into Sheffield. You see it straight away when you come out of the train station. So we're getting the train to Primark now. Gonna get my desert boots. And come on, walk in. Gonna get the train, should be like two pounds or something. This is a nice water beach. It's usually broken though, they've always they're always having trouble with it. But today it's working. Where we filmed the Persians, we did a bit of filming. At night time, the 600D held up quite well. We had the video light at the steady cam, it worked perfectly. See my reflection. <laughs> I'll go over to the mountain. <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> This is Tobias TV featuring Jess in the first installment of Medieval. No, the first installment of Sheffield. No, the first installment of A Tourist Guide to Sheffield. Fountain. Very picturesque. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Look, we've got the 
short and down there. To get it close on the front. Got the waterfalls, nice features, and if you come round here. All lit up. They've got lights in the water here, and they've got um, there's like red lights, and they've got misters going along, so it's all like steaming lights, and it looks like it's on fire. And, uh, the whole thing, the whole thing's lit up. And this is the view when you come out of the train station, and it is magical. Really. It's one of the best train stations.
platform freebie. Freebie? For our trainers. Okay. It's actually the lead train. Yeah. Meadow Hall, what is Meadow Hall? Uh, Meadow Hall is a massive uh, shopping complex. In America they call it a mall. Do they? It's <laughs> full of fun facts, aren't you? Yeah. I'm um, amazing. Okay, we're going to get in this car. back over there, metal falls that way, we've got a lovely um, stream, and it's like a river. The lovely river, excuse me, um, and they've got mermaids in, yeah. can you see them, that's the mermaid hair, oh they look just like mermaid hair, they have a pretty big mermaid, yeah, I wonder if my phone can capture it better. I doubt it. Better than the cannon? Yeah. It's got your feet on it. It. Kind of. It's not really clear, but you can see them faintly. Okay, film me now. One minute, I've got one. So it's a bit like Brent Cross Shopping Centre in London, but it's more scenic because there's lots of like greeneries. A lot more greener. So you feel me? Yo, what's up man? We're in Meadow Hall. That's how we do. Gonna spend some money. Gonna get my desk and boots. Primark. We're gonna we're gonna go to Primark. We're gonna get these desert boots. We've seen them online. Hopefully they're like under ten pounds we'll be able to get three pairs. Ooh, we're on the wobbly bridge now. If you stand still, you can feel it like um, So, this is Meadow Hall. It's Sheffield's biggest uh, shopping centre. And um, it's similar to Brain Cross in London, but it's a lot more scenic. And 
it's all right. I heard, I heard one story that if it wasn't, if it wasn't a success as a shopping centre, then it would be turned into a prison because it's got the same layout as a prison. So that's a fun fact, guys. One for the kids. Uh, you know, you go to Meadowhall for half an hour and you feel like dying because of the recirculated air. But we're going to stay strong, we're going to go straight to Primark, get this shit, and it's going to be cool. Okay, so it's not a very happy day today because we found some fresh shoes, but they don't have my size. Just have a look at these shoes, man. I wanted to get these ones, these ones, but they don't have my size. It's a shame. These as well, fresh. I mean, boom. They've been rocking, but um, usually I'm size 11. They've got loads of 11s. 11s are too big. They don't have any 10s, which would have fit me perfectly. I'm just gonna have to move on, get some in, like some budget ones, some crappy shoes like this, or like some basic stuff. Man. So it's not the best of days, but you know, hopefully it'll pick up in a bit. Okay, so it turned out pretty good in the end. It's picked up. We were on a low before, but we found some good shoes. Um, I got three pairs for the total of £35. I had a £30 voucher for working for Meadow Hall taking some photos. So it cost me £5 really. First pair we've got, woo, fresh. Got the white laces, got the, the kind of light navy blue colour. They look fresh to death. These were £8. Got the burgundy. Whoa, matching, matching, matching. They're looking fresh as well, man. They're looking fresh, eight pounds. I mean, ten pounds. No, they're both ten pounds. Sorry, excuse me. And um, <laughs> see that spinning shot? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, we've got the desert boots. They were fifteen pounds. And we tried the size 11 on, they were too big, there was no size 10s left. The woman went to the back because Jess kindly asked her, can you find some 10s? She had a route round in the back of the warehouse and she, she got them. And they are fresh, man. they look so smart on. Nice. Um, there were some dark blue ones as well, but we, we couldn't get those. So this is, so this is the Primark haul right here. Looking good. Good day today. Good day. Now let's move on to what Jess got. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, so I just got my zips stuck in my hair, so bear with me. Okay, um, I'm just going to go to Shop Primark. <laughs> Could you maybe get my zip out with my mask? Maybe. Very easy. I'll hold the camera. Just hold the camera. No, you've got to record it at the same time. Okay. Like that. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, we'll do it. Ow. Ow. That's the problem with having zips all over your jacket. <laughs> That's a shame, isn't it? Okay, so. see them, you're going to have to hold them against the white. Yeah, that's good. And it's my recommended that I bought buy some black pumps. Yeah. Um, about a year ago. I was like, I don't like that pump. Um, but I find... So yeah, about a year ago I was like, Jess, you should just get some plain black pumps so you can, you know, in yeah. case you want to match something. And now? And actually finally come around and realise that you need standards, you need box standard things, but I mean, just staple. Yeah. Staples need black, grey, brown, um, blue. Because, you know, they go with pretty much anything. Um, and sometimes you just need some casual shoes to wear. Yeah. That's a really hot cake. And what else? Oh, Prime this is both of them. So, how much were they? These were £3. These were £6. Pounds. Nine £9 pounds altogether. Bargains. 
Good old Primark. Tracking shot, I mean panning to Primark. Ooh, it's really bright here. Okay. Do a little Primark dance. Ooh, Primark, yeah. I've been to Primark. Primark. I've been to Primark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Babes, that's very dangerous. Hey, calm down. I got it. Did you? The mermaid stuff. Yeah. Well done. I thought you were gonna drop your phone in there. Well, sorry for that bit of danger. <laughs> I may have dropped my phone, but the chances were high. I should probably just get away. Look at that weird circle it's made thing over there. Oh yeah. Oh what I Looks like a tire. There are so many mermaids in this river. Shall we go join them? Yeah. It looks quite shallow, I can see the bottom from most places. Water should we do? Water should we do? <laughs> no, we could just swim around with them. Oh, right. Watery friends. Come on, we need to go for it. Do we? Yeah. Come on, then. Goodbye, Meadow Hall. Well, if it's just two cars, then it's bla you can blatantly you don't need to use the traffic lights. Yeah, <laughs> <They don't want. laughs> Sometimes I think to myself, actually, yeah, that would be worth the environment mm. because obviously it causes more pollution than stop stopping and stuff. So. Yeah. Um, I try not to. Sometimes I forget. It's a waste of energy. My friend Georgia, um, she just throws all her rubbish everywhere, Does she? and I have to be like, pick the bottle up. Put it I in do it. that. I know you do, it's terrible. It's not good, that's bad for the environment. Um, she calls me her mum for telling her to do that. But <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, yeah, you're killing, you're killing my planet. Pick it up. <laughs> Going home after a shopping trip. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Stay here. Oh, look at those cool things over there. Yeah. You can hear them humming as well. That's them. That's the electricity. <laughs> we can we oh, go yeah. closer and listen to them. What are we doing? Listening to them because they Listen hum. to what? Um, are they called pylons? This way. This is really spongy ground. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that walking on the moon. <laughs> We found like little wing spotters, like really quickly. Hit them. Yeah.
we shouldn't have been so eager. <laughs> to get on? We I know, it's cold. It's cold outside. But waiting is really boring as well. Yeah. Um, but if we'd have waited for like uh, one of the long distance trains, yeah. they never check on the long distance trains. Yeah. This is the little local train. Well, do you want to be really waiting for the next train? No. Another ten minutes? Ten whole minutes. On the platform? No. That's what I thought. competition. 1988. This is to certify that Sheffield what station was awarded third prize in the 1988 best station competition in the large station category. Okay. But we think that it should get the best station competition first prize now. Yeah. Because it's very scenic. I agree. Let's go. Time to go home now. the blue lights on and some of the lights on the water features. That's not foam you can see there, that's actually a light. Bye. 